Kia ora and hello to our viewers across New Zealand and Australia. I'm Philip Duncan. We've got a spring forecast at the moment. We've got two spring storms impacting both nations and a third one on the way. So let's make sense of it. We've got the energy map on today. So the brighter areas show the windiest weather. So the main storm is the one off just to the south of the Chatham Islands. It is driving in these big strong gale force winds out at sea, which are just brushing some of those eastern parts of the South Island and the lower North Island. The storm is a little bit of one step forwards, one step backwards, I've said this before, that it's deepening, but at the same time moving away. So it's sort of growing, but at the same time leaving our shores. So we will have more severe weather risks for the rest of Wednesday, but the storm will gradually move away, but the Chatham Islands certainly going to be impacted. And the other one is out here, moving in towards Adelaide, and that's also likely to bring in some severe weather as it moves into not just that part of Aussie, but further out to the east, out towards Sydney in the days ahead. So I'll try and make sense of all of that. So this is the current situation as we recorded this. The storm there are the Chatham Islands right here, so the storm's just to the south. The damaging winds in this portion, just brushing Banks Peninsula, just brushing southern parts of Wider Upper, maybe Wellington. The bright blue, that's what uh, that's where the snowfall has been and is still falling in the mountains and ranges. Not likely to go any lower than it's already been. And up in Auckland, a bit of a windy westerly blowing through at times, although not too severe. Here's the rainfall for the next 24 hours just so you can sort of roughly see where the bulk of it is and it's mostly from Christchurch up to about Hawke's Bay and it's only patchy showers further to the west and further to the south. Moving along, windy weather. Okay, this is this afternoon. So the worst of the winds this afternoon will be in the lower North Island. Wellington, wider upper, up to coastal parts of Hawke's Bay. Still very windy around Banks Peninsula, Kaikoura, and also the Marlborough Sounds, and of course straight through Cook Strait, which means places like Whanganui and southern Taranaki perhaps, although the map doesn't show it being too bad there, and still a little bit breezy in northern areas. But this is the area showing gusts over 100 k's an hour. We've also got a bit of snow falling, the bulk of it around the Kaikoura Ranges, further up around the North Island as well, perhaps a snow flurry or two around the desert road, but this is mostly up in the hills and ranges now, so I don't expect it to be too much of a problem. And over in Australia, we talked about this other storm. Here it is coming in towards Adelaide uh, with a burst of strong winds, heavy rain, and then these thunderstorms that line up around the eastern side of Australia as we move through into Friday morning or Thursday night, Friday morning. So a lot to cover. And just before we get into the forecast, this is Australia's temperatures today. Up here in the pink, it's not the minus area, it's the plus area, 38 to 48 degrees. So summer is on its way. Uh, it is going to slowly slide down Australia as we go through the next couple of months. So this is how it is shaping up for Thursday. There's that storm system moving into Adelaide. Strong gale force southerly winds on that side. Strong northerlies, maybe gale force on the eastern side. Covers a large area, fairly calm in the middle. The storm in New Zealand still effect, uh, impacting the Chatham Islands and still windy southerlies blowing in to the eastern North Island where temperatures will be down on Thursday, uh, but not overly wet and any snow flurries disappearing as the day wears on due to that high pressure zone. By Friday, the stormy systems out here over Victoria, New South Wales and Tasmania, Adelaide's got a very strong southerly blowing and Perth has a new low pressure system. Brisbane's also impacted by this big system. So it's a big storm, really, when you think about it. Darwin, the only place that seems pretty settled out of the big main centres. New Zealand's got high pressure nearby. The southerly winds are fading. Basically, Friday's becoming a nicer day around New Zealand for areas that have had a bit of a rough week. As we go into the weekend, so this storm explodes a little bit as it moves out on Saturday into open waters again. But, and there is a big butt. Uh, we've got high pressure out here to the north of New Zealand and that is firmly stopping that system from getting any closer, that storm system. Here is the rain band, gale force winds, but here on Saturday from around Tonga and Fiji, northerly winds coming into the South Island and then later on into the North Island. So by the time we get into Sunday, that low falling apart because of the high pressure, but then we get the squash zone, the windy nor'westers. So it'll be a warm day on Sunday right across New Zealand with rain or showers developing in the west while the weather starts to ease over in Australia. But make the most of it because when we get to Monday, 
two systems to focus on. New Zealand's got the windy nor'westers with a bit of rain in there. The totals won't be that great. Warm subtropical winds fade away to the usual spring westerlies, so they kick back in. High pressure moves into this corner of Australia, but here comes the next storm. 976 is quite deep for that far north, so that's one to definitely keep an eye on. No doubt Perth will get hit by a bunch of thunderstorms and nor'westers as that low approaches at the start of next week. So welcome to spring, I keep saying that. We're halfway through it, so I should probably stop saying it. Uh, we're in spring, just leave it at that. That's all from me. We'll be back again tomorrow with our next update. And of course, we've also got our top five global weather extremes update for today coming out uh, very shortly. We'll see you tomorrow though with our next New Zealand update.